Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you how to import third-party presets into Tolex. First thing you have to do is to open an iKey Multimedia Product Manager and update to the newest version. Right now it's 151, but Tonex is actually right now updating quite a lot, so it may change in the near future, but for now it's 151. So basically open iKey Multimedia Product Manager and go to Tonex Max and click Update. Okay, everything is installed and now we can open a Tonex application. There were some major changes in update 1.5. Some were great, some were not so great, but we'll get to that. And in today's video, I'll try to focus only on importing and editing presets. Before we go further, I want to address one thing for people who bought my presets, because I get a lot of emails about that. All of my preset packs are packed in WinRAR. So once you get a download link for my presets, you need to go to winrar.com, download WinRAR, and go here. Later, install our program and you're good to go. Okay, right now you can open RAR files and basically you can click here. And you need to basically extract or drag and drop those files to any folder. For example, let's call it uh, clean pack. Clean pack, okay, right now. And right now you have a folder with txp files. How to import presets? You need to click here, go here and click import preset and you need to select a folder that you created on windows like uh, you can just do ctrl a or select everything right or any preset you want and go to open and right now if you do something like this you should have those presets that you just imported okay One thing that's really annoying for me is the fact that right now, after update 1.5, you can't really edit those presets. You need to close this tab and later edit tone model to save another preset, which is kind of annoying, but maybe we'll fix it in a future update. So if you find any sound that you like, but you want to change something, let's close it or click this one. And those are parameters that I saved when I made this preset. But let's say you don't like the plate reverb, okay? You want it dry, okay, that's fine. Or you want a room reverb for a kind of more jazzy sound, right? With less time. And right now I have a strut, so maybe you want to reduce, I don't know, treble. Maybe you want to get a little bit more gain. Change anything. You can go to advanced parameters as well. And for example, reduce the presence, add more depth, make more gain. You can tweak it, basically, you can do anything you want. Okay, something like this. It's fine. So right now, if I want to save it, I go here, I click save, and let's call it jazz. Something like this. Presets. Okay. And right now, let's return to the preset tab, and you have a jazz preset. Okay, great. This, probably. Why is it helpful? Because, for example, if you take this preset, 
but I made on strat and go to skip to G, but in drop C. It's a completely different sound, so you may want to tweak presets and for example make humbucker versions or single coil versions. Most of my presets are made to be used with humbuckers, so usually it's the uh, other way around. You need to create versions for single coils. Another cool thing that Abdi 1.5 added is an option to create user folders. So for example, I can click any of the packs that I downloaded, bought or like created, and I can for example go to my rectifier pack. <laughs> Okay, so let's say you want to create a new folder. Let's call it uh, best presets one, two, three. Okay. And I want to go here and select the variety of presets that I like. Let's say I'll just drag and drop. Okay. Let's say something like this to this folder. Okay. Once again. Let's drag and drop, and uh, let's drag and drop those presets. Okay, so right now you can click this folder and you have all of your presets, right? Thanks a lot for watching, I hope this video was helpful for you and see you in the next one. Bye bye!